the great thing about maths is that generally whatever comes up on paper one isn't going to come up on paper two so using the information of what came up on paper one we can like make slightly better predictions of what is going to come up on paper two so if you're looking for a few things to revise for paper two and you're not very very sure where to start i've made you a list of my top 10 topics for a paper two revision so we'll cross over with science here and we've got physics paper two physics paper one coming up next week so it's always going to be good to get your crossover revision in as much as possible so looking at distance time and velocity time graphs so knowing what goes on the axis knowing what the lines mean the, the flat lines the slope of the line the 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 change in the slope line working out the distance the area under the graph so that is a key topic for both maths and physics. It feels slightly silly to say that topics number two are triangles and circles because they are massive, massive topics in math. But for triangles, I'll need to be looking at Pythagoras, your sine rule, your cosine rule, and then really, really getting familiar with all of your um, your trigonometry in there, so your Sokoto, all of those really important things. Um, now, this could come into like a bigger geography, uh, ge geography, ge geometry question, or it could be a small standalone question. And again, with circles, so your, your general circle facts, but I'll also want you to have a look at circle theorem. Four is an algebra topic, and I, I absolutely love of algebra but what I want you to look at is brackets so expanding brackets factorizing and then solving from brackets as well five a topic that not a lot of you seem to like generally because it comes into kind of like a wordy things so looking at wordy questions potentially involving like ratios sharing into a ratio taking something and rewriting it as a ratio topic six is vectors so this could easily be combined with another topic but one of the things I really want you to do with vectors is get those highlighters out and draw your start point, draw your end point and think about like, how are we going to get there? Um, this doesn't just have to be in a picture question. This could be like written or it could be in column vectors as well. Another topic that is great for highlighters is we're talking about like transformations. So, you know, highlight those points. You know, this point is this colour. This point is this colour. Please remember the, the examiners won't see anything you do in highlighters but they're really, really useful for during the exam. So it could be transformation, it could be transformations within a graph. So you get really, really comfortable with your algebra, including algebraic fractions, moving things around, and again, solving equations. So we know we need some probability and some stats in there, so probability. So the relative chance of an event, so events in a sequence happening, and then the statistics, just get familiar with all of those graphs. So like histograms, tree diagrams, cumulative frequency plots, um, let's get familiar with all of those, so drawing them, interpreting them, um, properly understanding what they all mean and using them in a question. Um, don't forget guys, if you want to see um, us work through loads and loads of math questions, then we have walkthroughs of papers all waiting for you. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.